Today I'm going to show you an advanced drag racing script created by this person. It has plenty of features like single and multiplayer options so you can race by yourself or with a friend. There are also time slips, a leaderboard system, and a custom timing board sync between all players. In addition to that, you can place wagers and race for money. What's really cool is the ability to make the drag scripts in-game. There are four distances to choose from and you can customize the blip for each location. If you happen to mess up or want to change anything, you can easily edit all of the settings. I'll leave a link in the description to the resource where you can check out all the features. I'll also leave a link to the preview made by the creator. I hope you enjoy the video. First, click the link in the description that takes you to the creator's store. Once you're there under scripts, find drag strips. It's $24.99. They do offer a 15% off coupon for new customers. Once you click on the resource, you're able to see all the features and the dependencies. So I'll go ahead and add it to the cart. It's going to have you log in. So go ahead and do that. Okay, and I'll log in with Discord as well. Then click continue. Then go to the cart and click checkout. Here's where you would put your coupon code in if you have one. We'll proceed to checkout. And then enter all the information and continue to payment. After you've purchased the resource, go to Keymaster and log in, then head over to your granted assets. Once you're there, find NAS drag scripts and NAS lib, then download them both. Once they're done, open them up and open your server resources. We'll start with this one first. Drag it over, then find NASLib and do the same thing. Then go to your server CFG and ensure them both. So ensure NASLib first because it's a dependency. After you've ensured them, hit File and Save. Next, you need to run the provided SQL however you do. I left a link in the description to a video made by Anna that shows multiple methods. Next, we'll take a look at the config. The first thing in here is the language. Both English and Spanish are supported. By default, set to English. Then you have the option to use miles per hour or kilometers per hour. With it being set to true, miles per hour will be used. Next is the option to use the target or not. The supported target systems are in the commented out text. If you disable the option, text will be displayed instead. In the target options, you have the size, distance, icon, and label. The label can be changed in the locale.lua, which is found in the resource folder. Next, you have the leaderboard pop-up distance, followed by the max recorded times, which is set to 50 by default. Then you have how long the slip displays, which gives you information about your times at the end of each run. Then you have the display board time, the rendering distance for the drag strip, and the challenge wait time. This automatically cancels the challenge after the time is up. The next section is for betting or wagering. You can enable or disable it and choose where the money comes from, either bank or cash. Then you have the distances. As I mentioned before, there are four distances to choose from. Next, you have some controls. The key they correspond with are in the commented out text. The first one is a challenge key followed by a solo option or racing by yourself. And the last one is for betting with other players. Then you have the default blip settings with option to enable or disable, change the sprite, color, scale, and a short range option. I'll attach what 309 looks like. The next section is for the drag tree lights, which are the lights indicating when the race starts on the custom prop. You have the wait time and the light pattern. 
There's more information in the commented out text. It's also recommended by the creator that these don't be changed. The last options in here for the props like the drag tree and time board. Then the setup card which displays when you're creating the drag strip. By default, it's the adder. If you made changes, be sure to hit file and save, but we'll move on to adding the webhook. To create the webhook, go to Discord and create a new channel. I'm just going to call it Racing. Once you create the channel, go to Edit Channel, go to Integrations, and click Create Webhook. Then go to it and copy the webhook URL. Then go back to the Resource folder. Go into the server folder and go into the unlock.lua. Once you're there, paste the webhook you copied, then hit file and save. After that, you can start your server and test it out. If you're looking for hosting, check out One of One Servers. One of One Servers is a cutting edge VPS and dedicated server provider specializing in top notch features like reliable network unlimited player slots, and advanced DDoS protection. Their servers guarantee smooth gaming experiences with powerful hardware, lightning-fast NVMe SSD storage, and high-speed internet. The servers are available to you after payment, and you can get started with the setup immediately. They also offer 24-7 customer support, so you can get help when you need it. Use the link in the description to check out all the features and get started. Now back to the video. So I'm in the server now, and there is the preset location at the Sandy Airfield. If you open the map, the blip will display, as well as the name. To see the race options, you need to pull up to one of the starting points. And they'll show up. So go ahead and challenge him. Okay, and it lets you know the winner and displays the slip. So to create a new drag strip, type slash drag strips. Once you do, it'll show you all of them and give you the option to create one. This one is for Sandy Shores, we're going to go ahead and create one. So first we'll set the drag tree position. And down the bottom right, it shows you how to rotate them and all of that. So go ahead and put it there. Then we'll set the board position. Go ahead and rotate it. And put it there. Then we'll set the start positions. So the first one's going to be here. And the second one will be over here. And go ahead and create it. And the name will put Zancudo. The distance will do half mile. Leave the time the same, and we'll change the blip. So by default, set the 309, which is the racing flag. So go ahead and change it. I'm just gonna pick one. I'll do this one, so 663. We're gonna leave the color and then confirm. So as you can see, it's starting to pop up. And there it is on the map. So go ahead and get into the positions. 
All right, so we're going to race again on the track that I just created. So go ahead and wager 700. Wait for him to confirm. Hey, cheater. <laughs> Almost hit the light. Yeah, I got to move it. <laughs> so to see the leaderboard go up to the drag tree and use the target each leaderboard displays winners for that location now if you go to discord and find the channel you created for the webhook it displays members of the race their times top speeds and the vehicle that was used so this is a race with me and Shooter, our times, the top speed, and the vehicles we each use, which were the same. It also displays when a new record is set for a location. This one is for Zancudo. It shows the new record and the old one. And if we scroll up, this is one from Sandy, again showing the new and old one. Now if people race by themselves, of course it will just show them. So that's the difference between racing against another player and by yourself. Now I did mess up the drag tree location, or it's a bit far, so go ahead and edit that to show that feature as well. So we'll type slash drag strips. Find the location, this one's Sankudo, then go to edit. I'm going to reset the drag tree position. So it has the old one there, just for reference. So go ahead and rotate it again. And this time I'm going to put it right about here. So go ahead and confirm the location. Then make sure you hit confirm details. Now it'll pop up this menu for you to edit everything else as well, like the distance, which was a bit far. So you can make it shorter or longer if you want, change the blip and all that. We'll go ahead and confirm again. And the drag tree was moved to here. That'll be all for this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and a sub. It's a really cool resource. Check out all the features using the link in the description. Thank you for watching.